One look around us reveals that we are living in a crazy and chaotic period. We are overcome with grief and panic. This feeling leads to fear. Fear is something we face every day. And if we allow it to consume us, it can steal our joy and peace. We fear not having enough to provide for our families. We fear the influence of technology and too much information on our children. We fear the results of a medical procedure. We even fear seeing a doctor. We fear the conflicts among the nations. We fear being alone and isolated. We fear the future. We fear the unknown. What do we do then when we face valid fears such as job loss, the death of a loved one, uncertainty of the future of our children, and even illness? When we are overwhelmed and in fear, we often seek assistance from friends or family. But the one place we will find true help and support is at the feet of Jesus. God's Word offers the help and hope we need in these uncertain times of overwhelm. We have a powerful and limitless God. We only have to trust His Word and have faith. It is said in Psalm 56, 11, In God I trust. I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? The term fear not is stated in the Bible 365 times, which ironically is how many days are in a year. God has given us enough reminders not to fear all year round. In Isaiah 43, 1, the Bible says, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Our lives may be in constant danger, and we fear of unfortunate events that may happen to us. The Lord understands our hearts. God knows the inner struggles we go through, even when we are consumed with fear. When our hearts are too full to speak, we can only cry out in prayer. When we turn to God with a sincere heart, the words are not as important as the heart. When we pray, God will respond, and I am so thankful God is my help. Isaiah 41, 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God wants each of us to experience power-filled faith that allows us to stand in the face of opposition and in a world filled with fear. There is only one fear that God allows us to do, and that is to fear God. Proverbs 9, 10 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. The fear of God is the foundation of true wisdom. All other types of learning are worthless unless built upon the knowledge of the Lord Himself. So let's go there. Let's bow at His feet and pray in these overwhelming days. Heavenly Father, we come to You seeking Your help. Our hearts and minds are flooded with fear. 
Sometimes we are paralyzed and we are unable to go on. We are overwhelmed. You have told us not to fear, for you have overcome the world. Help us cling to you and to your promises. Lord, we are battling in so many fronts, and we pray for your grace and mercy. For those who are in danger, please cover them with your wings. Send your angels to protect them. You are more powerful than anything and anyone in this world. There may be some who are wrongly accused and fear the outcome of the conflicts. We feel powerless as we face our accusers. Please send your justice, Lord. Give rest to our weary souls. When all we can do is cry out to you, be our defender. When life gets to be too much, please help us come to you. Calm our thoughts and emotions. Help us not to live in fear. Help us rest in you and trust you as we navigate through this broken world. We ask you to send us your peace to our hearts and appease our thoughts and emotions. Lord Jesus, we choose to hold your hand and allow you to guide us and give us direction and guidance. Lighten the load and help us overcome our fears. Open our hearts to your peace, comfort, and wisdom. Help us remember your love, and because we love you, Father God, we have nothing to fear. Thank you that we can find comfort in your word. We are protected by your love. In Jesus' name, amen.